Hey guys, Full Throttle here and today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on a 2015 Yamaha R3. The basics are you remove the oil drain plug and the oil filter. So the oil drain plug and the oil filter are on the left side of the bike. To make it a little easier, I've raised my bike up on the rear stand and I'm also going to remove this side panel and this side panel. To do that, it's going to be a 4mm Allen key. One here, one there, three, four, and five. Once you remove the two screws on the first panel, there are these two little extrusions here and here that go in this grommet and this grommet. So just be careful when you pull it out um, not to break. Don't make sure you don't break the plastic. Okay, when you remove this panel, there's a little tab like this that goes in here and this thing was here. So this is what you should be left with after. And if you look here, now we have access to the drain plug and the oil filter. Ideally, you want your temperature to be at three bars here before you do anything. And at this point, you should probably put on some gloves because touching oil, like everything else in the world today, probably gives you cancer. So just put, put some gloves on. Okay, to remove the drain plug, it's a 12 millimeter socket. Okay, rotate it counterclockwise to undo. Be careful, the oil is going to get warm, and there it is. What you should probably do is go to the other side of the bike and uh, open up your fill port. So you let some air in, and uh, that way you help the system out a little bit here to drain a little, more, a little faster. Just let it drain for a little bit. In the meantime, we can start working on the oil filter. So if you notice, the oil filter casing that comes from the, the factory has a little bit of like a socket type shape on it. There's a special tool you're supposed to use to open that. I don't have that. And my new oil filter has this little uh, hex nut bolted on, like welded onto it. So I won't need that special tool. So all we have to do is somehow get this out of there. And uh, I'm gonna try my hand first. And what I've learned from videos on YouTube of other people changing the oil is that it's really tight. So we'll see what happens. Holy crap, that's tight. But I was able to get it out by hand. A lot of people are having to jam uh, screwdrivers into this to get theirs out. And there it is, our old oil filter. I'm just gonna let the system drain up a little bit here. While we do that, here is our oil. I decided to pick the Castrol Grand Prix four-stroke motorcycle oil, 10W40. Doesn't matter what you choose, it's up to you, as long as it's 10W40. I don't, let's not get into that discussion in this video. Okay, so the new oil filter, this is a uh, KNN Performance oil filter part number KN204. There's also a KN204C, I believe, which is a different color, like a silver type or a white type color. So if you want that, get that. The most important reason why I chose this one is because it has this weld nut here, so I don't need to do it by hand like this time. The next time I'll just be able to use a 17 millimeter socket and I should be, it should be fairly simple. Okay, so once you're satisfied with your uh, drip level, what you wanna do is get your new oil filter out and um, take your new oil, dip your finger in it, not your finger, your gloved finger in it, and uh, basically kinda of go around the seal here so you get a better seal. Okay, that should be good. Now you want to fill this up halfway with uh, the new oil before you put it back in and start closing the system one by one. Okay, so that's about halfway, maybe a little more, but that's fine. Uh, this is just so there aren't, we, we try to reduce as many air pockets as, there, as we can in the system. Actually, maybe I should add some more. Yep, just wiggle it around a little bit to let the air get out. 
and just put it back. There is a torque spec on the oil filter. I'm not going to get into that right now. I have the service manual, but it's not that critical. So just tighten it to the point where you think it's good. Now it's time to put the drain plug back in. Same place here and um, it's clockwise this time. 12 millimeter socket. Again, there's a torque spec for this as well, but it doesn't matter. Just tighten it. Before we go to the other side and start filling fresh oil, just make sure you clean everything here like this. Um, even though nothing got dirty, just to make sure that when you do fill oil, there is no leak here. Okay, so now we're on the other side. This is our fill port. I'm going to use a little funnel thing like this. And I'm just going to start filling it up. It should take about three of these one liter bottles, so uh, we'll see how much it takes. So I put about uh, two of those bottles in, and here you can see the new oil coming up in the window. Uh, it's supposed to be between the lower end and the top uh, two lines here. Right now you can see it's at the top end, but we only put in two bottles. So I'm going to turn the bike on and uh, get the oil pump going and everything to get this level down and circulate through the system and I'll continue adding my, more, uh, my new oil. See how it went away? Okay, so that's the oil portion done and uh, so just coming back on this side to see if there are any leaks I don't see any leaks anywhere so everything is good I mean we didn't really stress the system or anything but uh, this is still a good sign now we're gonna put back our trim pieces and we'll be done putting those panels back on is just uh, in the reverse order as we took them out uh, screw here screw here and a screw here four millimeter allen and I'm gonna put on the next panel uh, after this one screw goes here and one screw goes here okay so the final step is to get rid of that flashing oil change light to, to do that uh, press the select button here until you get to the oil trip meter here it shows that I I drove the bike for 5088 kilometers since my last oil change so once you get to this stage just press the reset button and hold it down It'll start flashing, hold it down again, and there we are, set zero. So now you just go back to your odometer, everything is done. So at 5,000 kilometers from now, the bike will remind you again to change the oil and just change it. So thank you for watching my video on how to do an oil change on a 2015 Yamaha R3. If you disliked the video, you know what to do. But if you liked it, consider subscribing to see more videos like this in the future. Actually, before we end this video, um, the question comes up often, what do I do with this oil that I just took out of my bike? Well, you can't just drain it down and you know the drains out there. What you can do is fill, fill your uh, empty containers back up uh, with this oil and uh, take it to the place you bought the oil from. Any place that sells oil is required by law to accept used motor oil. They will take it for free, so just take it to them and just give it to them.